What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video and welcome to what is going to be a very very fun Pokemon Go adventure and I can tell you that right off the rip because we've already had some crazy luck and I'm going to go ahead and show that off to you guys in a little bit here but we're starting off today's video with a Lugia raid. Y'all know I love my Lugias. I have to do like at least 90 Lugia raids because I need 296 XL candies. I don't know the exact math on that right now but I need to do like close to 100 Lugia raids in order to get that many XL candies so I can 50 max my 100 a Lugia because he's the GOAT, dude. He's the best. So I'm glad I get to do a Lugia raid. He'll be around for another week or so, so hopefully I'll hit that mark. I'll be very upset if I don't, man. I'll be pretty sad about that. I'm not gonna lie, but today is Hoopa Incense Day. It's actually, you know what? I've, I got a little bit excited for this because spawns are solid and they're good shinies and they're rare shinies, so I'm about it. I'm about it. I'm here, man. We got Galarian Ponyta spawning. We got Duskull. We got Beldum. We got a bunch of stuff. Uh, Ex Execute. There's some random spawns in there, too. There's some shinies I need. There's some shinies I want, and there's some shinies we're gonna get ladies and gentlemen let me take down this lugia real quick then we'll get into this whole hoopa incense day breakdown and bada bing bada boom lugia goes down right there 2115 is what we're looking for 2065 that's <laughs> this is gonna suck look at the new screen look at the new raid screen so remember how the background used to be all green and bluish or whatever now it's like a nice sleek blacky gray and it looks very very nice so i'm a big Big fan of the new look. It's all about the little things, dude. It's all about the little things that keep this game fresh. Hopefully they keep integrating these new changes. Bada bing, bada boom. Can we start this video off with a shiny Lugia? No, gosh darn it. Not a shiny Lugia, 2065. Not gonna be any good. Now it goes Lugia, 2065. IVs on it aren't that good. We already got 44 XL candy, so we're on the way for sure. But the incense event has started. I have not incensed any shinies, but there's a lot of good stuff in there. Oh, also, right before the incense event started, I found a wild meganium while I was getting a drink at Starbucks. And no good, I didn't check the IVs on it till right now. But went to Starbucks, opened Pokemon Go, and there's a level one meganium just chilling. That's a dub. So psychic type hour is going on right now and that's gonna bring a bunch of psychic type spawns. I don't know exactly what's spawning during the psychic type hours, but we'll definitely get a good idea of it here. So here's our collection challenge for today, which we have to finish today. We need to catch a bunch of these Pokemon. So far we've caught Execute, Jinx, Natu, Spoink, and Girafferig, and then somebody else right there that I cannot see. Uh, and then there's a bunch of other Pokemon that we gotta catch. And then Hoopa, Hoopa is also on this collection challenge screen. And that means we're catching a brand new legendary today in Hoopa. Now that's gonna be super exciting. I did not know that was gonna be a thing. I thought we were gonna get Hoopa later in the research. Maybe we'll get the other form of it later in the research, but let's finish this thing off and make sure we get Hoopa today. Oh dude, something else to be excited about, the brand new special research, the one that we got with this Hoopa season. The second stage has been finished. They just finished it for us. I don't think I had to do anything really, but we get 720 Stardust and 720 XP. Why, why do we get 720? What's the What's the point of 720? Is, is Hoopa 720 in the decks? Honestly, I have no idea. I feel like that's probably it, but let me know in the comments. Anyways, so we're moving on with the special research. Stage two is done for free. Then we have to make five curveball throws, catch 10 different species of Pokemon, and earn 5,000 Stardust. That's easy money. I like those tasks. Very, very nice. And we do get an encounter reward from there. I wonder if that's gonna be Hoopa, or if Hoopa's in the next stage. We'll see. I'm excited, dude. This is gonna be a good day, man. Hopefully we get some shinies. Like I said, I already have one to show off to you guys. I like the research, I like the collection challenge. This is kind of fun. Down goes another Lugia 2086. This one's a little bit better, but I thought I might as well do another Lugia raid since I got invited to it. Plus we got another one that I'm walking up to, so we're gonna get a couple Lugia shiny checks in today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, the Go Plus has been going off. I wonder if there's any shinies going on in the background. No, we are now one for one for 10 or one for 11 on Lugia. But I mean, guys, again, if you haven't seen my last, I think it was two videos ago, we got a shiny eight Lugia on our second raid. So no matter what happens during this Lugia return, <laughs> there's only one thing that could be better and it's a Shundo. So I can't complain. There's no room for me to complain, dude. I shouldn't complain at all. Bada bing, bada boom. Man, Lugia is just the best, dude. He's just the best, man. He just goes down every time. No worries. Also five XLs. Wow, and Lugia's gonna save me some money? We'd love to see that. But things are looking good. I'm liking this event a lot. So really quickly, I think this is kind of important. We should probably go over Hoopa's arrival in Pokemon Go. So this is gonna be a six hour event. There's gonna be a collection challenge. There's two times transfer candy, I didn't know that. And there's gonna be field research to earn rare candies and Pokeballs, which I actually wanna emphasize right now. Also complete the seasonal special research tasks for an opportunity to catch Hoopa, so that'll be exciting. So here's our psychic type hour. We have Execute, Jinx, Natu, Spoink, Giraffe, Ring, Muna, Beldum, Galarian, Ponyton, Espeon. Remember, Espeon can now be shiny if you guys saw my previous videos. Uh, so that's gonna be super exciting. Hopefully we can make that happen. Then we have the Ghost and Dark type hours. That's gonna have Alone Rattata, Poochiana, Duskull, Purloin, Sableye, Carvana, 
uh, Drifloon, Tyranitar, Golit, Scraggy, and Litwick. Yo, we got some good spawns, dude. This is gonna be a good event, man. So remember, we're gonna have three hours of each, which is gonna be exciting. I'll definitely, hopefully, try to get some good stuff in there. I mean, I already showed it off to you guys, but yeah, we still need some of those Pokemon right there, so we gotta wait till the next hour, which is going down soon. Special research. I gotta make two curveball throws. All right, hold on. What can I throw at? You know what? I have research stacked. Let me get that. There we go. Special research stage two done. 15 Pokeballs, 15 Ultra Balls, three Max Revives. What are those Max or regulars? Three Max Revives. Yes. Thank you very much. A thousand dust. We got some XP and an encounter reward. Oh. Okay. I didn't know it was going to be Hoopa. I figured we were going to see him soon. I didn't think they were going to give it to give him, give, <coughs> give Hoopa to us right away. But looks like they did, dude. Looks like they did. Let's go ahead and grab this Silver Pineapple Berry. Oh man, that's a beautiful looking Pokemon. I will say they did a pretty good design on this. And his other form looks even crazier. Bada bing, bada boom, first ball. Thank God we didn't have to do all that AR stuff. Down goes our first ever legendary Hoopa in Pokemon Go with the Silver Pineapple. Throw it in the Pokedex. Love to see that. Bada bing, bada boom. It is number 720 in the Pokedex. It's 200 IQ, dude. It's 200 IQ. What can I say? 1406 CP. Now the moment of truth. How many legendaries and mythicals have we caught out of the special research? And how many of them have been good? Literally just one. We had the 98 Celebi. But other than that, dude, the other Mews are, 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 are bad. The Jirachi was bad. Everything was bad. Except for that Celebi. It's been a while. Hoopa. Can you change our luck and turn it around? 10, 13, 15. Gosh darn it, Hoopa. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The brand new legendary in Pokemon Go. Hoopa has been cut. Let me know in the comments down below how your guys' Hoopa was. This was a very, very dope catch. I was not expecting to catch it early on, that early on, in this video, but I'm down. I'm down. Now, let's see. Do they give us the next part of the research, or do we have to wait again? Oh, we have to wait again, dude. All right. Well, hopefully they'll uh, open it up soon. You know what? It'll probably unlock when the Psychic Spectacular event starts, so probably just a few more days and we'll get the rest of it. So I just took a quick look at my recents, and I did go plus an Espeon. Now, it's not a shiny one but it's real and shiny Espeon has been confirmed. So if we can make that happen, that would be elite. Also, this has been a pretty lit video and we just got into it. We just got here. I haven't even been here for more than 20 minutes, dude. If y'all haven't left a like on the video, what are we doing? Leave a like on the video. Down goes another Lugia real quick. 20, 94, dude, they're getting better and better. It was 65, 86, 94, whatever the heck. They're getting better. Maybe if I do one more, I can get a hundo. Ladies and gentlemen, another Lugia down. I just want to see if I can get a shiny in the video. Is that too much to ask? Listen, I'm wearing, I'm literally wearing red, black, and white. Lugia, if that doesn't call for a shiny, then I don't know what is. What does, what is, what does, no. Huh, all right, not a big deal. Would have been cool, but I have so many shiny Lugias. Okay, that's just a bad throw. Let's try it again. Oh man, even worse. All right, well, dark hours going down in just a few minutes here. So let me go ahead and start that up, catch some Pokemon and see what it brings us. Remember how I mentioned earlier in the video that we had caught a wild Meganium this morning and I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. We just found another one. Dude, I don't know what it is. Is this guy spawning with the season? Am I just incredibly lucky? Is there a reason he's here? I don't know, dude, I don't know. But another wild Meganium, two in one day. That is definitely a first for me ever. I don't think I've ever got two rare spawns like that in one day. Well, I mean, I have, but it's been a long, long time. 1182 Meganium, also not a good one, but two wild Meganiums in one day. That's a big dub, that's a big dub. Also the dark type and ghost type hour has started. There's some pretty good spawns. Sableye, Drifloon, Duskull, Litwick. I got a couple Litwick as well. So things are looking good, dude. I like the spawns. Hopefully we can get some of the shinies. So some of the new shinies we need or some of the shinies that we don't have that are spawning during this whole event. Execute is definitely one of them. I need another Ponyta, but that's spawning during the Psychic type hours. Um, what else, dude? Uh, off top of my head, I think that's it. But there's definitely got to be more, and I, and I want more. I don't even care because these are all really cool shinies. Who doesn't love the ghost shinies? They're all usually pretty dope. Oh, and speaking of shinies, I should probably show off that shiny clip that I said I was going to show off when we started the video. Look at this. Look what happened. Look what happened, dude. Shiny Zubat. Full odd shiny Zubat. Funny enough, I was at the movie theater. I went to go watch the brand new Marvel movie Shang-Chi, which I actually thought was pretty, pretty dope. You know, looking back, it took me a day to kind of realize it. It's a pretty dope movie, man. The aesthetic was insane. The fights were, were dope. Uh, good movie, good movie. So Shang-Chi was nice. But we got a full odds shiny Zubat. I'm sitting there with the previews on. I'm, I'm, I got my phone out because it's the previews. And I got a freaking Zubat spawn and it was a shiny. No 
no shot, dude. And I was gonna rename it Shang Chi. Oh, I did, I did. Let's go. <laughs> okay, awesome. So shiny Zubat. That now completes the full Zubat family for me. And this is a rare shiny. I mean, a lot of people don't have this and a lot of people want it. I'm glad I got it. So here's our full shiny Zubat family. And to make things right, we have to evolve into a Golbat right now so we can have the full shiny family. A little shiny Zubat evolution. I bet you weren't expecting that in today's video. Pretty random, I know, but pretty dope, right? Who doesn't love a shiny Zubat family? Ooh, bada bing, bada boom. That green and pink goes crazy. Let's show it off right now. And there we go. Another full shiny family complete. We got a Zubat, a Golbat, and a Crobat. Yes, sir. Okay, a couple things. For one, we finished the collection challenge. 24 of them we've now finished. I don't think I've missed any of them. I don't think so. Maybe I have. I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm pretty good at knocking those out. So, I think we're good on that. Let me know if you guys have got more than 24. Um, number two. This guy right here. Dwebble. Now, I didn't know this. Didn't know this at all, but this is actually a Dwebble nest. And I've caught... 20 I think I just checked 21 of them since I've been here in the last hour or so and You know kind of to, to touch on what I talked about in the last video Where's ditto? Uh, is, is it still live because honestly bro like well, how many has that been? 20 today and however many in the last few days and all the new moles and everything else that I've been catching Teddy Ursa's But where's the ditto? I mean, I've literally only caught two of them in in four or five days Is this the only game anymore because it doesn't feel like it is to me let me know in the comments, man. Maybe if I'm, I don't know if I'm tweaking or if I'm just really unlucky, but I feel like I would've got another ditto by now. It's been days. Huh. Also, I just completed the collection challenge and I unfortunately wasn't recording my screen, so my apologies, but all we got was 7,200 XP, 10 Hoopa candies, and a brand new Pokeball pose where you just stand there like this with a Pokeball in your hand. That's really it, you didn't miss much, but uh, GG's. Okay, so we've got through Psychic Hour, we've gone through Ghost and Dark Type Hour. No shinies from the Incense Day yet, no Hundos yet, but the spawns are good, I'm really enjoying them. Good candies, good XP, good Stardust, good all, good everything. Honestly, good everything so far. We still have four hours left to this event. It's very, very hot and I'm wearing a sweater and uh, I think I'm gonna go home and stream the rest of the event and hopefully, hopefully we get some good stuff. Obviously, if I get anything, I'll let you guys know here at the end. Uh, if not, then we'll do a recap. Well, but regardless, we'll do a recap. So hopefully we get something good on stream. And honestly, we streamed for what, three hours-ish and nothing. Literally nothing, dude. No shinies, no hondos, just a bunch of candies, and obviously a good time, Stardust, XP, candies, and all that good stuff. It was great. It was fine. It was fun, but we didn't get lucky. And I'm starting to think, dude, this isn't the first incense day that's just kind of been eh. A lot of them have a lot of potential. Like, the spawns are good. They're fun. I like the, the aesthetics. It's awesome. But they need, a shine, they need to up the shiny rate because it would only make it better. And what's the point of having us go out for a six-hour incense day for us to maybe, maybe get one shiny, possibly two? Let me know in the comments down below. How many shinies did you guys get during this incense day? I played pretty hard, dude. I played six hours. I caught hundreds of Pokemon. Nada. Nothing. I don't know what it is, dude. Didn't get anything on this day, didn't get anything on the last incense day. The last couple sponsored incense six hour event days, I didn't get much on either. So I'm thinking we need a little bit of a buff. Uh, I don't want to be asking for too much, but I, I think that's fair. I mean, these incense days are fun. Let's make them better. I did, however, get a little bit lucky with my guy. Of course, I mean, you knew this was gonna happen. Ladies and gentlemen, let me play the clip here. Bada bing, bada boom, shiny Lugia. We got it. Now, as you guys may recall, I got a shiny 98% on my second raid of Lugia. This was my 32nd, no, 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 no. This was like my 34th Lugia raid. So it took me a while. I had to go all the way around again to get another shiny, but I did, dude. Bada bing, bada boom. And it's a 2095, and you know what that means? That means it's a 96% shiny. So we started off Lugia's return with a shiny eight, and then we maxed it out to 40. And then we get a shiny six. You know why? Because we can, dude. Because Lugia loves us like that, man. I don't know what the I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about, but I'm about it. Shout out to Lugia, always hooking it up, always shining a light in the dark times. I appreciate you. Let me know how your guys' Lugia raids are going. Right now, I'm two for 35. Uh, I got a bunch of XLs, which is nice, but I haven't got a hundo yet. We got the shiny eight and the shiny six, so things are good. Other than that, that's about it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not already. Our next video is going to be huge, insane. It is a video five years in the making. 
and you guys have wanted this video for a long time. Trust me, uh, we got a really, 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 really big announcement um, in this vi next video as well. So make sure you guys are sticking around and paying attention. <clears throat> It's going to be really good. It's going to be really good. You guys should be real excited about it. Stay tuned. Next video is dropping September 9th at 10 a.m. And then I'm going to be live on Twitch at 12 p.m. PST, of course, for quite the extravaganza. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Big partnership coming up. I can't wait. Have a good one, and I'll see your faces later. Deuces.